Today, we're talking about the GTX 1660 Super and seeing does it VR. Let's talk about it. It really covered down some ground bases. It's going to be on a Quest 2 PC VR that's wireless. And we want to talk about is this really good? Can you stream it? Can you play it? Like, what's the benefits of it? And what are some of my settings that I do utilize? So jumping into PC VR, you do have to have a PC that is VR ready. This is assuming you have a respectable build with a solid CPU. When it comes down to just PC VR gaming, my favorite to do is in 1080p if I'm just PC VR gaming. Now here what you see on screen is a stream that has been encoded. Now there's a lot of routes and what you're doing when it comes down to PC VR. But if you're just solely gaming, a GTX 1660 Super is phenomenal for just gaming. Assuming you have your PC uh, Ethernet hardwired. And also you have your Quest 2 on some Wi-Fi that's on a dedicated Wi-Fi router. In this case, we use a Wi-Fi 6 and we just utilize it with AirLink and casting. So that's what we do in just gaming. Now to move into the next essential and what you're seeing right now. When it comes to a stream, it comes down to a huge gaming rig now. We separate it into two PCs and what we do with the GTX 1660 Super, we put it in our gaming rig. And to encode, we have an additional PC that probably has either a 1060 or just whatever it is of your choice. It doesn't have to be as much because it has to just be able to encode the stream depending on what you're encoding the stream on most people want to be really high depth and go into a 1080p stream i don't utilize that i wouldn't want to run my my dual pc setup to the ground especially streaming vr so what i do is i stream in 720p with a 60 frames per second and that seems to run completely fine on default settings with a normal bit rate of like 4000 to 6000 because usually that's what works best with twitch and twitch really compresses and condenses a lot of audio and performance anyway so i love to just utilize this when it comes down to a stream like what i said earlier if you're just utilizing pc vr gaming uh, the 1660 super is going to be perfect for 1080 and 60 frames i'll definitely keep it at that if you want to push it a lot further that's kind of just on your basis that'll be up to your flavor i don't want to bottleneck anything i kept it at default more of an entry level slash mid-tier graphics card so i was just i would in my opinion i would just keep it at minimal standards that just keeps it clean you want to be able to have a successful stream especially when you're streaming VR. You can't really see your chat unless you add it yourself. I do have videos on that if you want to add your chat on that, but it, it gets very, very messy very quick if you're going to be able to try to bottleneck it and be able to see how far, how many frames and rates you can get and see how great that refresh rate is. A lot of that is in experimental features also, especially on a Quest 2. Now, if you're utilizing something else, then of course, then you can possibly take it to the next level. With a Quest 2 though, I would definitely keep it at a 60 frame and uh, keep it at a 1080p. I wouldn't push 4K or any further than that, especially on a 1660 Super. When it comes down to the stream, I do have a dual PC setup with a capture card, and this allows for everything to be able to ge uh, be captured on that. My gaming rig is the 1660 Super, as y'all can see. And like what I said, and what y'all are looking at right now is a 720p uh, 60 frame stream. I only stream 720 just because most people watch my stream on mobile phones anyway. And so that helps me out. It's kind of like similar to what I'm doing right now. When I record a lot of YouTube videos nowadays, they are in 720. Um, I will push to 1080 possibly later whenever I get more money because that's a lot more expensive, especially already streaming VR. But later in the future, we will do that. So yeah, the PC VR solely 1080 streaming. You're going to have to need a dual PC and you're going to have to need <laughs> a 720 dual one rig and one really great PC with another additional graphics card. So just know that. Now, let's talk about if you're just going to utilize one PC in totality to stream VR and play VR. Playing and streaming VR, it would be an absolute no-go with a 1660 Super X just because it's just, it'll it, it'll do everything. Streaming is a whole nother monster. Let's go down the line. VR is another monster. PC VR is another monster. Gaming PC VR takes even a next level. And then streaming and gaming on the same PC while utilizing PC VR, it's already almost impossible with just gaming alone. But when it comes down to that, it's just so much rig on that. And it's just so much, you, you, you'll just run your PC to the ground when it comes down to VR. So that's why I use a dual PC setup. And with a 1660 Super, it's perfect. It's utilizing all the essential tools it needs in order to encode the stream and without really ruining the overall performance of the game. And especially when you keep it in somewhat default standards, 1080p, 720, you're ready to go. It's perfect for that. Best bang for your bug, I would say right now. When it comes down to this, the 1660 Super, this is what I've been using for a long time. It came in a pre-build, and so I just took it out of the pre-build, and then I ended up building my own. 
Um, and so when you want to utilize it to VR, to stream, it is 100% possible. Now, granted, it's not at the best level. It's just something if you want a little bit more respectable that won't lag, that won't really destroy everything. And like what I said, I do utilize a dual PC. I don't utilize just a single PC. So the one that actually holds the 1660 Super is perfect for just gaming. So gaming VR, the answer is yes. For gaming and streaming, vr while utilizing the 1660 super in one pc i would definitely not recommend that but if you can really spice it up and get a dual pc with a capture card then yes but well, obviously that's gonna be a lot more money all in all the quest 2 does make it a lot more easier air link with a dedicated wi-fi and some casting it can't take it to the next level this game is a uh, after dark vr it's much of a, a less intensive less gpu intensive game if you're going to go into much more of the higher uh this can also hold phasmophobia i did do phasmophobia a lot also but if you're going to go into the higher intensive gpu games i'll definitely keep it at a 720 1080 i would never try to push 4k with a 1660 superman but that's just how it is and this is just it in my hand real quick. So if you are looking at it and if you are interested in that for VR, I think it's something that I did want to share because I think VR, they, they try to overextend on what you need. Uh, try to get into like the RTX levels and stuff when in reality this does work. Um, I would probably look into this for the best mid-tier, most respectable, but um, depending on prices, of course. So yeah, that's my review. Let me know if you have any questions below. Comment in the comment section below and I do appreciate y'all. I hope y'all have a good one. Be sure to like and subscribe. It does help the channel. It does help us out with everything. Y'all have a good one and much love. Peace.